Hey everyone, welcome to Data Tech Club. So today we're gonna discuss DEX functions. The two DEX functions very important. Now, so time intelligence functions. The first one is opening balance for the year, opening balance for the quarter, opening balance for the month, and the second function is the closing balance for the year, closing balance for the month, and the closing balance for the quarter. Okay. So why we use these functions? Uh, basically, if we have a sales data, so if we want to compare both the, uh, if we want to compare the data between the months or between the quarters or between the years, so you can we can use these functions. So let's uh, let's understand this by example. So first of all, we'll take a measure. We'll click on the new measures. All right. So we have a four tables here. This is the calendars table. So in, in, the, in this table, we have date column, we have month column, quarter, year, and year of quarter. Okay. So we have the two other tables, which is financial table and the superstore tables. So these are the two tables on which we're gonna be do our work: the calendar table and the superstore tables. So the superstore tables is a departmental store. Uh, so we have uh, all the data related to this table, which is sales data basically. All right. So let's jump into this. We'll click the new measure and uh, we'll create a new measure for this. So first of all, we will see the example of opening balance of the year. Which is O B Y. Opening balance of year. And the expression the what is the expression so we want some result okay so the expression would be some sales we want what does what, what we want we want sales some of the sales okay and dates right So this is the measure, the opening balance of the year, which is created. So now we will go to again, new measures. We'll create another measure, which is closing balance of the year. All right. So closing balance of the year. And again, some sales data we have in Superstore table. Now the dates we required. The dates are there in the calendar column. Okay. All right. So we will drag one table from the visualizations tab. Now, what we're gonna do is we have calendar table in that table we have years. Okay. So now we're gonna compare both the uh, measures. All right. We compare both the data in different different measures. All right. So we have uh, last opening balance and the closing balance. Okay. So in 2009, we had closing balance, but we did not had opening balance because we just started our business and uh, we have a closing balance. So in 2010, the closing balance becomes the opening balance for 2010. And we have this closing balance 8400.21. So in 2011, we have this closing balance and this, sorry, this opening balance and this closing balance. So you can see it's very much easy. You can understand we have created two measures opening balance of the year and the closing balance of the year. So in this, so the, the opening balance of the year and the closing balance of the year are the majors for you know comparing the values between the two years okay not months not quarters we have separate measures for them but to compare the values year wise we can use these kind of measures all right so now let's create uh, the measures for months as well opening balance for month 
sales sum sales superstore sales now dates so the, the so we gonna put add uh, dates from the date column calendar date okay so the format of this measure is basically we just have two parameters so the first one is the expression so the expression is you know the which is give us the resultant value now after that we have date put hit the enter button opening balance of the one now again we gonna create an, another measure which is closing balance of the month closing balance of the month sales okay now we have dates okay. so uh, we have created two measures so now we have created two measures which is closing balance for the month and opening balance for the month. So in these two measures, we got to compare the values between the months. Okay. So. All right. And after this, we're going to put our measures, which is opening balance of the month and the closing balance of the month okay so uh, as you can see there's some you know wrong data over here so the opening balance is something else and the closing balance something else then again in next month we have different values so there's a solution so we have filter and the year in this so let's change this into the drop down all right so so if we change this to 2010 all right so you can check in january 2010 because we are comparing the values uh, for a month so it will have to be uh, in a particular year all right so in 2010 this is the january months the opening balance was this and the closing balance was this so now this closing balance is become a uh, opening balance for the month of february all right so you can see this all the values are matching so that's how we do the opening balance and the closing balance of the month we checked we see uh,